Idea Rex Kaboom and welcome to another tips and tricks video. Today in SimCity we're going to show you some stuff about parks. So I had an idea, thought it was a little interesting and I asked uh, some of the Maxis guys so I'll show you the tweet right up here. But the basic idea is why would you ever add on to a park? So as you guys know you can put a park down, um, let's get a overview, better one. So you can drop a, let's do a cheap one so we don't just waste stuff can drop a park like this, but it destroys houses. It destroyed two houses when I did that. Now, parks also have the option to build onto them. And why would you do this? Now, I asked him, I said, hey, what's the advantage? Does it, is there any point? Because you can just buy these separately. And he said, if you think about it, when you put it down, if I put it next to it, it destroys, this one's going to destroy five houses. You can see the yellow ones. If I put it right behind it, it doesn't destroy anything. So you can have it in the middle of things away from roads and still makes people happy. So we're going to drop this one right here. People get happy. Nothing is destroyed in the area. You can be a, a lot more space efficient. Now another interesting thing when you're adding them on is it has to be in the same category. Um, so formal, plaza, nature, sports, and basic. So let's go down to this basic park we just plopped. A lot of people walking around. And you can add other basic ones to it. So let's add a water park playground. Uh, that one's going to destroy too. You sort of have to put wide ones when you first start. This one will not destroy stuff. You can see because it's not yellow. Um, so that's interesting. And it's also interesting that you have to put it with it. Uh, if you're wondering what these cash things are, it's pretty simple. It's the simoleons. So this is for low wealth. Medium wealth are the sports in nature. Sports have a huge area of influence. They're not as influential, but they influence a lot. Um, you can go up to plaza, which are higher um, wealth, and formal. Uh, plaza and formal, I haven't really figured out the difference. Um, I think plaza might be for commercial more, and formal might be more for residential. But, hope you guys use this. It keeps you space, um, it saves space when you're putting stuff down. That way you don't have to destroy pre-existing buildings, and you can go straight through. Um, see, we're already getting stuff to upgrade which sucks because I can't build this all the way through. Theoretically, you can build one park all the way through. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you learned it and you're going to use this in your cities, if you could leave a like or share this video, really appreciate it. And if you're new around here, of course, subscribe for more tips and tricks coming to you often. Peace.